So now in this video we're going to look at the uh, pull up resistor which I have here and also the pull down resistor. Uh, basically the same thing but opposite polarity. So we have the positive supply through that resistor since this oscilloscope doesn't really need any current. There are uh, better ones but um, doesn't really need any current we have the full 5 volts right there. I can press the switch now and we have 0 volts. So one reason why I'm using this it makes a better connection than my finger usually does. That actually wasn't too bad. But in any case, we have uh, two states here and uh, that switch balance right there. That whole time, I wasn't making as good of a press as I wanted to. So that's what switch balance is. If that's a problem, you gotta address that too. But for now, we're looking at the pull up and pull down. So it's pulling the voltage up to five unless I press the button, which it goes to zero. And before we look at the uh, pull down resistor, I actually uh, goofed this up. It took me a little bit to figure out what I did wrong, but I was getting these uh, stray signals right here. So what that is, is we are measuring a voltage here, but it's in relationship to whatever voltage this is. You can see it's bouncing all around. So that's actually what happens to a side of the switch if it doesn't have a uh, voltage uh, to it. So hopefully that makes sense. That's one reason why you see pull up and pull down resistors. Now in relationship to a ground here, we have a solid zero volt, zero volts on both sides. And... Uh, so it looks like it's holding a pretty steady there. A more sensitive, you can see we had a little stray signal there. More sensitive input would uh, pick up uh, stray voltages. And uh, in any case, hopefully that makes sense. So we have the pull down resistor now. It's staying zero volts until we press the switch, which is connected to the positive supply up there, five volts. So it's gonna hold it down to zero. And for those that like uh, diagrams, I drew it out. We have the pull-up resistor holding 5 volts as we saw until we close the switch. So what's happening when you're closing the switch? I illustrated here with uh, just the schematic though. A little finger I drew, pushing it down. Now we have a direct connection to ground. So it's going to be 0 volts. Uh, ground is uh, usually 0 volts in DC circuits right there. And uh, that can actually power uh, something. You got uh, some load coming from the positive supply, it will go down to ground. You'll have that full five volts across anything that's parallel to the 10K resistor right there. Um, so that can power something. When you release the switch though, that's just a signal voltage. So it's a 10K resistor, so you can get a little current uh, through it, um, but uh, really it's not intended for uh, powering stuff. Although under some cases you could power a really light load. And then we have the pull down resistor there. So a schematic symbol. Again, 10K resistor. So that uh, we just get that voltage. But when we close the switch, we'll come over here. Then we have a uh, five volts out, which can power stuff that's parallel to the load. Again, a load headed to ground. We'll have five volts across it because we got a direct connection there. A little bit of current will trickle through the 10K resistor from the positive supply. That's the main reason why you use a higher uh, value resistor like this. Uh, generally can go as high as you want. doesn't have to be a specific voltage. You just got wasted current while well, the switch is closed. That's the main thing. You want to limit that. But we got 5 volts. We, we could power a load. Usually though you'll see it's going to an integrated uh, circuit input that just responds to voltage. And they really like either if you're using 5 volt supply, 5 volts or 0 volts. That's uh, digital electronics. You got some middle ground voltage. It may not behave the way you want, if you want it to only respond whether you're pressing a switch or not. So, in any case, that's really about all there is. So, hope you enjoyed.